coming at you with a weird video today, but I think you're still gonna like it. What I'm gonna be doing is getting on my computer, finding some military surplus clothing. So stuff like coveralls and weird hats and maybe whatever this thing is. I don't know, but I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, dang, that's actually some really good deals for what it is. The place we're gonna be looking is Sportsman's Guide. It's not sponsored by them, but listen, Sportsman's Guide, if you're watching this, literally, email me. Sponsor me, please. I need it. But yeah, they have a lot of cool stuff on here, so we're just gonna go buy some, and then we're gonna try it on and see how it works. I don't know. Let's get started. First thing we're gonna see, you know we got a U.S. military ACU jacket. Now, this one's $31. I'll be honest, it's a little bit too expensive for me, especially because I don't really need that right now. Here's a British Royal Air Force coveralls. They've been used, so some little British dude's been wearing these fixing a plane, probably, but it's still $18. I don't know, guys. I think that's a good deal for coveralls. I don't really buy many, but... I think it's a good deal. Here's something I'm really interested in. I'm actually going to get it. It's a German surplus Flecktarn parka. Now, originally, when I first saw it, I was like, oh, I'm not going to get it because people will think I'm a Nazi. Because it literally has the German flag right on the shoulder. But then I looked it up, and they didn't actually use this camo pattern until, like, the 90s. So, we're definitely safe here. We're buying a large add to my car. Ooh, here we go, baby. Here we go. These are going to match perfectly with the first German jacket I got. And so, now that we got the matching set, let's go try it on. <laughs> Give me the waffen. Give me the waffen. If you speak German, go ahead and tell me what that says. Anyways, long story short, I don't think I'd like to be a German soldier. This is uncomfortable, very. Now, yeah, I mean, yeah, it is like October or September or something, but I mean, it's still hot, you know. I think the biggest problem is that this is meant to be an outer layer, and I'm, I don't have any inner layers except for a shirt, and also the pants. They're not long enough, so I think I ordered the wrong size. And, uh, but yeah, I mean. I think I could do some damage in it, not gonna lie. Pretty stylish. Yeah, dang right. Let me do a little runway walk for y'all. I like it. The pants are okay. I'm gonna be honest, the suspenders aspect of the pants. They kind of make up for it. Now, good lordy, get this off of me. I'm sweating. Oh my goodness. I'm keeping these though. I like these. Here's some Swedish belts. A two-pack for only $13. Here's where the crazy deals come in. You can get a German military surplus t-shirt six-pack for 10 bucks. You honestly can't beat that. I mean, you do have a German symbol on your chest that nobody can read. That comes out to like less than two dollars per t-shirt. Definitely a good deal, but I don't really need six German military t-shirts, so I'm gonna take a hard pass on that one. Dude, check this out! We can get a Belgian post office mail carrier jacket. It's $44, which is kind of expensive. Just bought the German one for $25. But it is new, so it's never been on a Belgian post worker's body before. That is so good. I bet that's the warmest thing in the world, too. We're going to take a hard pass. The German one's going to be really cool because it is camo, and I can actually use it for hunting. Probably not really the best idea to wear a big red, you know, postal jacket hunting. They probably see it. You get the point. Dude, check this out. Italian military surplus cotton pajamas. I don't wear pajamas, so we're just going to pass. Ooh. You can get an East German trench coat for $22.49. That's a steal. Now, am I in the market for a trench coat? Not really. Oh, <gasps> bro. It's a Russian Jessica Zazaka hat. No, it's Romanian. Add to cart. Thank you. Hello there. Not gonna lie, not exactly the most stylish thing in the world, but I do make it look good. I like the versatility to where like, you know what, maybe your ears are getting cold, you can bring them down like this, or you can bring them up like that and then wear it kind of like a, like a pillow on your head. The fact that they literally got this off some Romanian soldier's, like, head and then stuck it in a box and sold it to Americans, that's plus 10 points, guys. Like, so far, this is better than the jacket. Like, if you're cold and you put this hat on and you're still cold, you probably have the coronavirus. I'm just gonna tell you how it is. I don't know what Romanians speak. Probably Romanian, but maybe Slavic. But to be honest, I have no earthly idea. So I'm just gonna keep grunting. Hey, I'm head out. Hey, have you guys seen Kendall? I lost him, I can't find him anymore. Oh, oh, he's in here. Oh, hey, thanks. 
does he know that's just a closet? Now this is cool, it's actually a German boonie hat. But if we're gonna be honest, guys, we kind of have our own right here. Available, kennelgregwarner.com slash shop or first link description. Now the KG hats have everything these do, except a better camo pattern, and they're a lot cheaper. So I don't know, guys, I'm sticking with the KG hat. <gasps> the bad thing is that there are six of them. You know, I mean, two? Of course. I don't really need six, though. It pains me to pass on such an item, but we just have to do it. Unless I gave away the other ones, but that'd be a really weird giveaway that, you know, I don't really want to dive into the legal issues of what could possibly come out of that. Oh, here's a Russian one. You're trying to a hat. Oh, and it comes in different colors, too. You can get white and brown. Now, these are actually $35. That's, that's really expensive. But fun fact about this, I actually already have some like it, so let's go try them on. I don't like the hat. It doesn't really feel that good. It has a cool symbol, but I don't think it's Russian. There's what the inside looks like. I was told that a dude stole this off of Russian police while he was sleeping in his car. I think I was lied to. I'm going back in the closet. I mean, I know coronavirus was bad, but man, I didn't think it was this bad. People already say I look Russian. I feel like I'm on my way to invade Poland. And I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> tan makes it look, but I, I'm speechless. I don't know how, but this shirt has made it to the top of the list. This is the coolest thing in the whole box. 10 out of 10 would recommend, especially if you're trying to invade Poland, which let's be honest guys, it's not a good idea. It's really not. Fun fact, Russia has invaded Poland 17 times. Too cheap not to. <coughs> I'm a helicopter! I don't know what this is, but what I even don't know more is that it was a two pack, and I got two of them for $13.49. What is this, Polish? This is pretty cool. Like honestly, you like going to a school dance or something? You needing a suit? You on a budget? Here you go. Be an Italian corporal or something. 13 bucks. I feel like I work at JCPenney's. Maybe at a bank. Maybe a stock analyst. Like an investor. Maybe a diesel mechanic. I'm gonna wear this to school, bro. I'm gonna be the man. It's also really hot, so don't wear it on a summer day. You might actually pass out. But you know what? Something's gonna kick off a modeling career. Might as well be an Italian Air Force jacket. I don't need two of them, though. Should I give them away? I guess a giveaway. Oh, forgot I still had this shirt on. Well, let's go to work. Heavyweight fleece jacket. Goodness, what are they needing heavyweight for? I would buy this just because it's funny, but I mean, I have zero use for that at all. I can't, I can't understand. What is that even for? Ooh, now this is cool, but keep in mind it says youth. What do youth need a ghillie suit for? Anyways. <gasps> Oh, no, I can't do it. Brooklyn Armed Forces? What does that even mean? Are we talking like the Brooklyn Nets? They got their own little military? What in the world? 2020 is weird, bro. Here you can buy a barrel for $80. It's an expensive barrel. And here you can buy a shovel for $8. That's a cheap shovel. Here you can buy a dog collar for $18. It's an expensive dog collar. Or you can buy a pair of Star Wars pod racing goggles for $12. That's a cheap pair of pod racing goggles. Now, I would buy this. 
but I have absolutely no use for this. And that's a lot of money for a pointy hat. Just my opinion. I might be wrong. Now listen to my story, and then we're actually gonna give away some of this stuff here in a few minutes, but just listen to this story. So once upon a time, there was a preacher, and he was sitting in his house. And then a flood warning came up, and he's like, oh snap, maybe, you know, it's gonna like flood or something. But this preacher actually stayed. And then the water rose a little bit, and some people in a car came down, and was like, hey guy, hey man, you can jump in our car, we're heading out here anyways. And he refused the offer and said he'll be okay because he had faith in God. So then the water got up to this far, and there was a dude in a boat come up and was like, hey man, you wanna get on? He's like, nah, bruh. I got faith in God. He's going to take care of me. Well, the water actually kept rising and he went to the top of his house. And then a helicopter came by and was like, hey, dude, you, you get, grab the rope and we'll take you out of here to safety. He's like, nah, cuz my God will save me. You can go on. So then the helicopter gone on and then he drowned. Yeah. He died. And then whenever he went to heaven, he asked God, he's like, hey man, why didn't you save me? And then God was like, bro, I sent you like five ways to get out. And you didn't take any of them. Now that's just a story, but the moral of the story is that if you're asking God for help, start looking around because he could be trying to help you and you not even notice. Or like the preacher up on top of the house, it wasn't the way that he expected it. I don't know, I just thought that was cool. But if you want to win an Italian Air Force jacket that you might be able to sneak into an Italian Air Force base, I don't recommend it. I'm just saying it might be possible. Along with a Romanian Ashashkashka hat. Number one, be subscribed. Number two, hit the like button. Number three, leave a comment. What was your favorite piece of fashion, I guess? I don't know. And your Instagram username if you have one. That's all you gotta do, guys. Do that and you're pretty well good to go. I'll send this out to somebody. If you want to watch part one where we built an underground bunker, you can click right up here. Or click right over here for a video where I tested out Wendy's breakfast. If you like this video, you will probably like that video too. Bye.